Hello friends. The next couple of sessions in spine series are devoted to cervical myelopathy exclusively. Why is it so? In the next sessions, you are going to understand about cervical myelopathy in details. Now, what is pathophysiology of cervical spine? Do you have time to read so many articles to understand all the theories that are put forth? No. So these lectures are going to be one stop for you to understand all the pathophysiologies and etiologies and the theories that are put forth in cervical myelopathy. Also along with this to understand the places where the examiners tend to catch you with respect to cervical myelopathy in the examination. We are also going to discuss the principles of treatment. We are going to discuss the case-based scenarios because this will help you to make better decisions surgically when you are also practicing on the side. So all these lectures are going to help you a lot with respect to cervical myelopathy in details. The other important thing in these sessions is one session is dedicated on history taking of cervical myelopathy wherein you are going to understand how do you proceed with history taking, what are the differentials, how do you differentiate whether the patient is having cervical myelopathy or not. So all these things are going to be discussed in this history taking wherein the examiners try to catch you and trap you in different parts of your history because cervical myelopathy as we know my friends is a very important long case that you have in the exam. So stay tuned, let's keep the discussion rolling.